Yes, good morning again. Well, it is Thursday, if you haven't noticed, which means that it is also movie day, and I've got a couple up for appraisal on this fair morn. Now, we've had The Notebook, Dear John, Safe Haven, etc. Now, the latest Nicholas Sparks film to hit the big screen. It's called The Longest Ride and stars chip off the old block Scott Eastwood. Looks like his dad, huh? And first up, a beautiful British coming-of-age yarn called X plus Y. Yeah, well, we all have to do things we don't like doing, but we do them, don't we? So give it here. Because I don't talk much, people think I don't have anything to say. Meet a young man and his maths teacher. Why don't you walk properly? I've got multiple sclerosis. Why are you weird? I've got special powers. Nathan is on the spectrum. Traits of autism. He's a unique young man. Indeed he is, and we're invited to watch him grow up to become a mathematics prodigy. You have successfully earned a place on the United Kingdom maths squad. Oh my goodness! I'm going to go and study. And so Nathan heads off to a mathematics training camp in Taiwan to team up with some of the other bright young things on the planet. Nice to meet you. If beauty is truth and truth is beauty, well then surely mathematics is the most beautiful thing of all. Then it's back to Cambridge for the International Mathematics Olympiad. Who knew they had such a thing? Come on. Asa Butterfield is quite superb as the socially awkward young man Sally Hawkins, perfect as his mum. Rafe Spall, brilliant as Humphreys, the maths teacher. This film touches on many delicate areas, the loss of a loved one, the difficulties of single parenting, dealing with autism and multiple sclerosis, and yes, the power of love. And I have to say, it handles all these issues with a deft touch and a big heart. When somebody loves you, it means that they see something in you that they think is worth something. It's not on a wide release, so you're going to have to hunt this one out. But please do. It is, without a doubt, one of the best films you'll see this year. It's called X Plus Y, and that, my friend, equals a little bit of magic. Four and a half stars. I can't sleep with somebody else, it's all right. It's cheating. You know, I was joking. Also out today, the story of a couple of star-crossed lovers, and one of them, Clint's son, yes, I know, the impossibly handsome Scott Eastwood. Let's go! Yeah, so he's a former bull riding champ looking to make a comeback after an accident. Hey! Keep it. She's the gal who wears his hat and captures his heart. No one has ever done anything like this for me before. But of course, as you would expect, it is a rocky road they embark on. You see that? What? Call 911! And yes, that's Alan Older, the bloke they meet in strange circumstances, whose own love story inspires the young couple. My dearest Ruth. I remember that dress you wore even when I've forgotten my own name. Look, this is about as cheesy as it gets with a saccharin factor of 9.5. And girls, you are going to love it. I wish I could tell you it'll all be happily ever after. Not everybody gets that. For my money, Scott Eastwood and Britt Robertson are lacking in the chemistry department. But you probably won't notice that while you're staring at his chest or his chin or his eyes or whatever. I come from such a different world. But I've never felt this way about anybody. If you're in the market for a big, weepy chick flick, then happy days, it's in cinemas today. The Longest Ride, 128 minutes to be precise, three stars. Love requires sacrifice. It's worth it.